The story of Balaam and his talking donkey is found in Numbers 22. You see, Balaam was a pagan prophet who led Israel into apostasy and was identified by Peter and Jude in the New Testament as a greedy and immoral man. And we learn in the book of Numbers that a Moabite king named Balak enlisted Balaam's help. And while Balaam was on the way to meet with Balak, verse 21 through 27, share with us that the Lord sent an angel to stand in his way. And when Balaam's donkey saw this angel three times, well, the first time the donkey ran away. Second time, he tried to go around the angel and crushed Balaam's foot. And the third time, the donkey just stopped and laid down. And each time, Balaam beat the donkey. Now look at what happens in verse 28. Then the Lord gave the donkey the ability to speak. What have I done to you that deserves your beating me three times? It asked Balaam. You made me look like a fool, Balaam shouted. If I had a sword with me, I would kill you. But I'm the same donkey. You've ridden all your life, the donkey answered. Have I ever done anything like this before? No, Balaam admitted. Now, our time together in this program does not allow time for me to unpack how God could give the ability for a donkey to talk. But here's my question. Why wasn't Balaam shocked into silence by his donkey speaking to him? And why, why did Balaam talk back? Listen, the Bible doesn't tell us, but we do know that Balaam was rebelling against the Lord and that he was so angry at his donkey that he lashed out against the animal. See, anger has a way of curtailing rational thought. Maybe Balaam lost the ability to think clearly, I don't know. But one thing I do know, the best time to obey the Lord is now. Not to be so far gone that God has to use a donkey to get your attention. You know, one Bible commentator commented on this passage in this way. A person has reached a very low level in life if God has to use brute beasts to communicate his mind. See, God can use a donkey to speak, but don't be that guy. Allow God to speak to you by his spirit, through his word, in concert with the people he's put in your life. Let me leave you this morning with a better way for God to speak to you and to me. 2 Timothy 3 says, all scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work.